This is the Matter Study Guide, Part 3. Objects are made up of one or more materials. Some objects, like a glass pitcher or a wooden spoon, are made of only one material. So if you think about the glass pitcher, it's probably, well, the name says it, it's made up of just glass. Or a wooden spoon, that's made entirely of just wood. So there are lots of things that are only made of one material. A wooden chair would might be made of just wood, or um, a plastic bowl would be made of just plastic. They're made of only one material. Other objects, like a bus or a door or a bicycle, are made of more than one material. I mean, if we think about a bus, there's metal, there's plastic, there's glass. There's all types of different materials that are in that particular object. Uh, in a door, you might think a door is just made of wood, but if you think about it, there's also some doors have glass in them. Some of them have metal in the door handle uh, or a bicycle. Your bicycle has lots of different materials that make it up. So some objects so might be made of just one material, while other objects like, are made of more than one material. Uh, scientists use the physical properties of an object to decide if they will work well together. Remember, we talked about how physical properties help scientists sort and classify objects. Well, they also look at those to decide if they will work well together. For example, they, they'll look at uh, wood and decide that that's probably a good thing to use for making stairs, where glass, because of the physical property of a glass, it's, it's kind of fragile. You may not want to use glass for stairs. Some physical properties or physical changes are too small for us to see. So to help with this, scientists use magnifying glasses or microscopes. These are tools that magnify the molecules. They, they ex make them so that they're much, much, much bigger. And it helps them to see these, uh, the, the changes or the properties of the molecules that are too small for us to see just by looking at them. Remember, volume is the amount of space matter takes up. So we said your shoes have a particular volume. Uh, liquid has a volume, but its shape can change. And most of the time, an object cannot increase its volume. So your shoes are not going to get bigger on their own. A pair of boots, a cardboard box, or a magazine cannot increase its volume. However, some objects like a balloon or a plastic bag can increase in volume. So if you think about a plastic bag, maybe you've done it where you blow up a bag and you keep blowing it up, blowing up, and then you pop it. Or if you think about the, uh, the balloon experiment that we did with the baking soda and the vinegar, which was a chemical change that we caused, uh, the balloon's volume expanded as the gas went into it. Um, and this usually happens when a gas spreads out inside them. Okay, this was part three of the matter study guide. Best of luck as you prepare for your test. And again, this was a Mr. Pearson Teaches Third Grade production.